Welcome to the Fun Astrology Podcast for Tuesday, March 22nd. Thomas Miller here. Thank you so much for joining us again. I'm really excited about doing these video versions. I think it's going to be fun. Yesterday, I recorded an audio podcast with Laura Taft, one of the ladies doing readings with us. She's the third of the three, and that is going to air on Friday. It's going to be really good, and I'll let her tell us what she's going to talk about. I'm not going to spoil it, even though I know, and it's really cool. Then Saturday, I'm going to tell you the story of this chart right here. This has captivated me since Thursday when this was announced. It happened to be about three hours from where I am right now in North Carolina. But I'm going to show you exactly why in this chart it showed that this father of three, this husband who left the house at 6.05 in the morning, did not make it to work, why it was obvious that he would be involved in a motor vehicle accident that would end up in water and that he would not survive. It's a gripping story. It's been an incredible community involvement up here in North Carolina. And what really has roiled me about the whole thing is how that chart showed exactly what was going to happen. That's going to be Saturday. And we are going to do the video because we have to show the chart. And then I'll air the audio from the video. So I'm not going to do two separate episodes. That will be kind of unique and we'll see how that works as well. All right, let's roll into today's chart. This is exactly what we're looking at right now. And as the Ascendant goes, we have Neptune again in that Oracle planet position right there between the Sun and the Ascendant at about the 8 o'clock position on the screen. I realize that doing this right now, I can't put my cursor on here, but I'm working on it. And to show you a few things today, I've come up with what I think is a nice alternative. But this is sunrise, basically, today. And one of the things that I was aware of even yesterday as I was running errands and taking care of some things in the afternoon Speaking of motor vehicle accidents, I wanted to know where some of those triggers were. Where is Uranus? And um, and I noticed that yesterday the moon was throwing off this big spray to Pisces. And so I was looking at it yesterday. Now it's happening today and we have exactly the same thing. So the moon is uh, will today be exactly trining Neptune, and you can see where it has just passed Mercury and Jupiter there, um, basically yesterday and through the evening. Now, the couple of things that I wanted to point out for you, first of all, let's focus on Mars. This is that 72 degree minor aspect to Eris, and I just thought, you know, Let's at least put this on our radar. So there's Mars up in Aquarius at 12 degrees. This is a 72 degree aspect. So 12, 24, there's the pair. And that is the um, uh, X, the aspect there between Mars and Eris. Okay, I wanted to show you that. Now, the other one that I thought we would take a look at here is, well, of course, the moon moving into Sagittarius and out of Scorpio. So we'll get that heaviness out of the way. There's about a three-hour void, of course. Uh, Let's see, the times I can give you on that, actually. The void, of course, will start at 12 noon today, and it enters Sagittarius. The moon enters Sag at 3 p.m., that Mars Eris quintile aspect was at 537 this morning. Okay, so just to bring you up to date on those times. Actually, see, I'm learning as we go. Now what I will do is I will write the aspect on there and put the time. Ah, hello. I'm recording this yesterday afternoon and I'm tired. I got to tell you, it's been a long, full day and I wanted to get this done so that we could post it. Then I'm going to work tomorrow on the rest of the week, and I'll have more time. So I uh, just wanted to get that in there. But yeah, it's uh, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right, so the moon moves into Sagittarius. Then this is the one that I kind of wanted to camp on. Because Mars squares Uranus. When does that happen? 
4, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the one we had some fun with on the on the audio version of the podcast because 444 in the east is 333 central time, 222 mountain time, and 111 on the west coast pacific time. So there you go. Uh, If you like sequential numbers, you got a good one. But we do have a square aspect. So that is more tension, more friction. But remember, nothing grows unless there's some kind of pressure. Glass blowing comes to mind. You take sand and put heat to it, and it becomes a beautiful, sculptured piece of artistic glass. So we don't run away from these squares. We don't run away from, quote-unquote, hard or bad. There's nothing bad. It's, that's a relative term, right? But when the pressure perhaps comes on, then we're able to grow. And this is where we talked about today, that there's a money paradigm here. So we could use the tension or we could use the pull, the pressure, to say, I'm going, this is where you get ahead of your chart. You could say, I am going to sit down and come up with some really powerful ways that I could reinvent. Aquarius, where Mars is, where I could reinvent things related to money. Now, where do we get the money? Well, because Uranus is sitting right there, you see it, in the sign of Taurus, the little bull with the horns. (laughs) And Taurus is ruled by Venus, and Venus is the money planet. So, also Libra, but basically astrology honors Taurus as being the area where Venus mostly relates to money. So this is where we say we could take a look at this aspect and in conscious living, we could say, ah, we have force, we have power, Mars, we have oomph. Well, we can use that to reshape our money paradigm because we've got a perfect opportunity, a perfect window, a perfect little day, basically, today and tomorrow, if you will, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, if you were anticipating this, and we work on our money. Those are the aspects for today. Thank you guys so much for checking back in on this. I think the visuals are going to make a huge difference, and this will only get better and better and better. All right, have a great day. I'll see you back tomorrow for Wednesday's video episode. Have a great day.